constantly supported someone who's directly against God. This person is not for God, not a day in his life. If you studied the Bible, you would see this person is nothing but a liar. He calls himself a Christian, but he hangs out with the world and rubs shoulders with him. The Bible says, does Belial have anything in common with God? Does the devil have anything in common with Jesus Christ? Oh, I tell you the truth. It's time that this nation repents from their dichotomy and starts believing in the real gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, why is it that this generation wants to lie to themselves and call it okay? You want to lie to yourself all day and say it's fine. Oh, look at how some of the ladies are dressed here. They got all kinds of cleavage and they're dressed in their Christianese attire. They got their short skirts so they can show enough legs so the men can be attracted to them. And all they want to say is that they love Jesus. Oh, the Bible says in 2 Timothy that a woman should dress modestly. That's what it says. Oh, but you know, the world's not dressing modestly, so if you want to be cool nowadays, you got to dress like a whore. you got to dress like a prostitute. you got to dress the way you want to dress so you can attract some mm -mm -mm attention. That's what you want to do. But I'm telling you the truth. That's not what the Bible says. Jesus is coming back. The Bible says he will devour all the children of, of, of disobedience. The Bible says that the vengeance of God is going to fall on all of the children of disobedience. And here you are wasting your money on one of the people that are leading you right astray. Here you are wasting your money on a man who sits there on the BET Awards dancing like Michael Jackson instead of warning people of impending hell. Why didn't Kirk Franklin stand up at the BET Awards and tell people that if they don't repent, they'll go to hell? Why didn't Kirk Franklin warn? Why didn't Kirk Franklin warn people about their souls? You know what Kirk Franklin did? He just said, I want to love nobody but you. Look at my new album, guys. Go and buy it. It's $10. It's $15. It's $19. All he wants is your money. He's raping you for your money. I'm here to warn you today. I'm here as a warning sign to you today to tell you that we are in the last days before Jesus approaches. And if you want to live for God, you've got to say no to the world because the world, Jesus said, in the last days will come a great lullaby. And the world keeps singing its lullaby over to you and saying over and over again, come on, you can just play a little bit with the world, play with a little bit of fire. Well, if you play with the fire, you're going to get burned. And Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, I've come to bring fire on the earth and how I wish it was already kindled. No, but you want to play your Kirk Franklin games. You want to play your false, phony Christianity games. You want to dress like you want, act like you want, do what you want, but then you want to have God's benefits. Oh, to buy, read the book of Deuteronomy, people. If you want to know God, you've got to obey. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commands. Where's the obedience of the saints? You've got a bunch of people that think they're Hebrew Israelites, but in the meantime, they don't even know how to obey God. They want, to, they want to call Kirk Franklin a godly man after he's already been friendly with the world. Don't you read your Bibles? Don't you read the New Testament where it says in James 4, 4, you adulterers and adulteresses, don't you realize that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? But here you want to talk about, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a God-fearing believer. I love Jesus. I'm going to go to Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin's nothing more than a Christ denier. He denies Jesus Christ every day he stands up and doesn't warn people about hell. Jesus said, if you don't act like I'm coming in your watch, you're an unfaithful servant. The reality is you got to repent, sir. you got to repent. Kirk Franklin's leading people to hell in a handbasket. We're out here to warn people about it. It's the very truth. It's the very word of God we're trying to warn you about. We didn't give you our opinion today. We came to you with scripture. We didn't give you our opinion. We came to you with scripture. Let the scriptures do the talking. The Bible says that no one who is friendly with the world will be a friend of God. Anyone who's friends with the world is an enemy of God. Oh, Jacksonville, it's time to repent. It's time to turn to the living God. It's time to turn to a God that doesn't have pop stars. There's no pop stars in heaven. You know that? There's no Kirk Franklin's in heaven. You know what there is? Humility. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. Here you are spending $80 to hear somebody tell, tell you that he loves Jesus even after he denies Christ, going to the BET Awards, not warning anybody of the impending doom that's coming upon the world. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 4, here comes a day that's going to burn like an oven. 
Why did Kirk Franklin stand up and say, hey guys, the Bible prophesied that there's a day that's going to burn like an oven. No, because he wanted your paychecks. He wanted your money. He wanted to spend some of your hard-earned money that night, so he just rubbed shoulders with all kinds of worldly people, and he was a friend of the world, an enemy of God. Kirk Franklin's nothing more than a charlatan and an enemy of God. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Just look, follow the money trail. You just spent your money on the guy. Why wouldn't he sing a song for you and give it to you for free? Not because he wants your money. You see how sharp he looked on the BET Awards? Looked like the man never, never went a hungry day in his life. Oh, but you're going hungry almost all the time. But Kirk Franklin ain't because he just keeps making those jams. Kirk Franklin, he's making those jams. And when he makes those jams, guess what he does? He makes you feel good inside, so you keep spending your dollars on him. And instead of him being a real man of God and standing up for the truth, what does he tell you? It's okay to go to the BET Awards, y'all. I'll go there too and I'll dance, says Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin's a liar. The Bible says, don't you know, you adulterers and adulteresses, that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Therefore, whoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Kirk Franklin has put himself in direct opposition to God the Father because he rubs shoulders with the BET Awards and he doesn't tell those rap artists and those nasty R&B artists that they got to repent for their lasciviousness and their disgusting music videos that are leading the youth of America down the wrong trail. Oh, don't you have a heart for the youth of America? You want to show up in the projects and say, we care about the people in the projects, but you don't realize that the rap artists in this nation are leading all of the youth of America astray with their violent gang raps? You don't think that it's the music that's causing these kids to do what they're doing in the streets? Come on, Kurt Franklin's rubbing shoulders with these rap artists. Where is your, where's your goal? Where is your, where's your heart for God? Where do you, why don't you weep for God? Why don't you weep for his presence? Why don't you weep for your, for your people? Why don't you weep for the black community that's killing one another? No, you'll keep buying Kirk Franklin concert tickets because it's awesome jams. Instead of putting your money towards something that's going to matter. I tell you, if, the, if these people would seek God's face, God would heal this whole nation. God would heal this whole nation if you turned to him. God would heal every single youth in America. They wouldn't want gang violence. They wouldn't want gun, gun violence. They wouldn't want sexual rape and, and, and promiscuity all in the streets. If we turn to God, but what do we want to turn to? No, we turn to our own devices instead. No, we turn to our own ideas instead. No, we want our own things that feel good. I'll tell you right now, an STD feels good before you get it. I tell you right now, it's time to repent. It's time to repent. Kirk Franklin is leading you astray. Kirk Franklin is leading you astray, and I will say it because the Bible says it. I'm not here preaching my opinion. Notice everything that I'm doing is backing it up with Scripture. The Bible says whoever loves the world is an enemy of God. The Bible says do not love the world or the things of the world because the things of the world are not of the Father. Oh, where is the backbone of America? We've lost our backbone, and the men don't know how to be men, so the women have to stand up and be the men. Where is the backbone of America? Where are the men who are going to stand for God? Jesus says, God says this in the book of Psalms, who will stand before me in the presence of the wicked? Oh, I tell you, the day is coming. The Bible says that will burn like an oven. Many people are going to go that way. Jesus said, strive to make it through the door, for I tell you, many people will try but not be able to. Oh, I tell you the truth. You come over here, you tell yourself a lie that Kirk Franklin so-called loves God. What kind of God would let you play games with the world? That's called adultery. Friendship with the world is called adultery. Kirk Franklin is helping you fornicate against God. Kirk Franklin is helping you play hooky on God. Kirk Franklin is helping you love the world just a little bit more. That's why your pants, ladies, are getting tighter and your shirts are getting lower even though you're in the church because the devil's now infiltrated the churches. And now he wants to infiltrate your lives, and now he's infiltrated your wallet tonight because he came out here thinking that Kirk Franklin loves Jesus Christ. Meantime, he, has, he hasn't loved Jesus in a while. He waxed fat. He got rich on your money, and all he wants now is for you to pay for him because the Bible says these are those that have gone the error of Balaam. This is the error of Balaam. 
This is Balaam's error. Go read it in the Bible. These people get money hungry, so they tell you what you want to hear. The Bible says in the last days, people will not endure sound doctrine, but instead they will heap to themselves a mass of teachers who tell their itching ears what they want to hear. Oh, come on, Kirk Franklin, t sing that song for me. I want to love nobody but you. I want to love nobody but you. I want to love nobody but you. He loves everybody but God. He loves everybody but God. The Bible says, your love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. If you love Jesus Christ, you will hate evil. If you love Jesus Christ, you will hate evil. You don't have sincere love. If you love everybody that's sinning, the Bible says, I hated the congregation of evildoers. Where are the real men and women of God at? Where are the people that are going to stand, the Bible says, where the enemy comes in like a flood? The Spirit of the Lord raises up a standard against him. Where are those people? Where are those remnants? Where are the people of God that are reading their Bibles that know that something's wrong in the last days? Where are the people that know that the preachers are in the churches and they're not warning you correctly of the sin that's going to lead to your calamity? Instead, you go to these pastors who are talking about their prosperity, but all the people in the church can't pay the bills, but they've got Rolex watches on their wrists. You know what I'm talking about. You know the pastors I'm talking about. Creflo Dollar, he's even got it on his name. He wants your dollar at the end of the day. These are people that are false charlatans. These are false, wicked men. The Bible says that the darkest places in hell have been reserved for people like Creflo Dollar and Kirk Franklin. The darkest places in hell, and here you are paying for it. You're paying to go watch the person who's about to lead to one of the darkest places in hell. That's what you paid for today. You paid to go watch someone who denies Christ with every action that they do. You read your Bible for yourself. I'm not coming here to try to give you my opinion. The Bible says if you're a friend of the world, you're a hater of God. You're a hater of God. It says you hate God. I'm here to tell you the truth today, whether you want to hear it or not. I'm here to tell you what the Bible says, whether you like it or not. Because a lot of you are not opening up your Bibles. If you were to be honest with yourself for just a second, you would realize that you've, you've gotten all of Kirk Franklin's lyrics in, but you don't even know one Bible verse almost. The Bible says in the last days, people will not endure sound doctrine, but they will heap to themselves a mass of teachers telling them what their itching ears want to hear. You see Kirk Franklin at the BET Awards after the Bible said have nothing to do with unfruitful works of darkness? You think the devil's hanging out in the BET Awards? You think God's hanging out there saying, yeah, yeah, I guess we're enemies, but we could just hang out for tonight. It's the BET Awards. You think God's over there? Well, Kirk Franklin was there. Kirk Franklin was there singing, I want to love nobody, but you're doing his Michael Jackson moves when people are going to hell. People are going to hell, but Kirk Franklin got a paycheck that night. Good for him. Good for him, bad for you. Good for him, bad for you. You lost your money and you might lose your soul, but Kirk Franklin at least got his paycheck. The Bible says that places of the most blackest darkness are reserved for people like Kirk Franklin, for people like Creflo Dollar stealing your money, telling you that you got to hear some other, some other way and that you got to be friends with the world. The Bible says you adulterers and adulteresses. Don't you realize that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Therefore, whoever is a lover of the world is a hater or an enemy of God. You see, you say, oh, but, I, but Jesus was a friend of the world. Nah, -uh, Jesus came to call the world to repentance. That's what I came here to do tonight as I came here to call you to repentance. Many of you guys go to church and you do the churchy church thing. But if you're friendly with the world and you, and you partake in Kirk Franklin's evil deeds by going to this concert tonight, you better be admonished and go back and read your Bible. God is not pleased with you spending your money on people that deny Christ. God is not pleased with you spending your money on people that go on the BET Awards to rub shoulders with people that are leaving the youth of America down a train that's causing millions of lives to be shed with blood every single week. Don't tell me that people in the BET Awards are not causing these kids to get these ideas when they're talking about blowing up themselves, shooting other cats, getting shot nine times, doing all this stuff. But you know who Kirk Franklin's doing with those people? He's rubbing shoulders with them at the BET Awards. Hey guys, we're friends, give me a paycheck. What a mockery of God's word. When's Kirk Franklin gonna stand up for truth and say, enough is enough, you guys need to stop rapping about this stuff. You need to stop talking about this junk. 
This junk is polluting our kids. This junk is causing our kids to shoot each other up. This junk is causing our kids to think weird thoughts. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, but so does fear. I'm here to warn you, Jacksonville. Don't you understand? Don't you understand the days that we're in? The Bible says, woe well, unto those who call evil good and good evil. You're in a line for a man that you think is good, but he's evil. If you were to search your Bible for just two, two hours, you would find very quickly that Kurt Franklin is nothing more than a charlatan and a false prophet. The Bible says these people have gone in for filthy lucre's sake. That means they went in for money. Kurt Franklin went in for money. He didn't tell the BET Awards to repent. He told them, give me your money. I'll sing my songs for your money. What a sellout. What a sellout. And here he sold out tonight again. And you bought into it. The Bible, Jesus said in Matthew 24, be careful that nobody deceives you. Oh, you weren't careful. You just kept buying his albums. He crept in. The secret power of lawlessness crept, it crept in through your heart. Because you loved your songs. Because you loved your songs, you're going to go to hell. Because you loved your songs. You see, if you love God, you're going you're gonna to love the Word of God. And if someone doesn't sing what's in the Word of God, you'll catch it. Oh, but Kirk Frandon can sing all kinds of things and you're not going to catch it because you don't know a day of Bible in your life. I guarantee you right now, you know the, all, this, all the words to stop. Makes me clap my hands, makes me want to dance. But you don't know what Jeremiah 12 says. You don't know what Mark, what, what Mark 16 says. You don't know what Revelation 3 says, do you? You don't know God's word, but you know all of Kirk Franklin's lyrics. You know all of Taylor Swift's lyrics. You know all, 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 all of these artists. You know all of Kanye's lyrics, but you don't know God's lyrics. Oh, come on, people. We're living in an age. We're living in an hour. Where people are denying Jesus Christ left, right, and center. And they're doing it all for the sake of God. Their property. They're doing it all saying that they're doing it in the name of God. You know what the Bible says? Don't judge. You can do it over there. Oh, no, the Bible says don't judge, but it says first take out the log out of your eye, then you can see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. Oh, I saw Kirk Franklin looking like Michael Jackson on the BET Awards. The Bible says have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. What was Kirk Franklin's staff doing talking with those people? They are wicked. Did you see the wickedness that's coming out of BET now? Did you see all the nastiness that's causing, causing black America to kill each other? You didn't see it? You didn't see all the bad music videos telling people to treat women like a piece of meat? You didn't see all those, those awards? You didn't see all those awards? Oh, and the award goes to Kanye West for blaspheming Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Where is the generation at? Where is this generation at? Where's the strength? We don't stand up for truth anymore. We just let it go by. We'll buy the tickets to go and see the charlatan. Because we say, oh, well, he got a good song. I want to love nobody but you. I like that one. It really makes me dance. You take a two-minute dance and trade in your soul. You take a two-minute dance and trade in your soul. This is the point. Esau made a bad deal with his soul. He made a bad deal with his inheritance, and you're about to make a bad deal with your soul because you like the songs. Oh, the devil knows what to do. He's an angel of music. He knows what to do with the music to make your body go boom, boom, and then your body goes boom, boom, and then your soul goes boom on the day of judgment. Why? Why do you keep on with your dichotomy, Jacksonville? Why do you keep on America with your fake idolatry, your fake Christianity, your phony Jesus? Oh, if Kirk Franklin loved Jesus, he would hate the world. Oh, if Kirk Franklin loved Jesus a day in his life, he would have hated worldliness. See, the Bible says if you love God, your love must be sincere. You must hate what is evil and you must cling to what is good. I didn't see Kirk Franklin hating what is evil on the BET Awards. I saw him soaking it up like Michael Jackson. Saying, I want to love nobody but you. That was a song straight to Satan. And everybody's singing it with their cleavage down to the bottom of almost their belly buttons. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? You think God is pleased with that mess? You think God is pleased with a mess like that? The Bible says, be holy because your heavenly father is holy. 
The Bible says be perfect because your heavenly Father is perfect. Where are you right now, generation? Where are you? You just keep on going with your own lusts. The Bible says that, the, that, the, the, that men hated the light because their deeds were evil. Oh, if, Jesus, if you love Jesus, you'll hate what is evil. If you, if you love Jesus, you'll hate what Kirk Franklin stands for. If you love Jesus, you'll hate the fact that Kirk Franklin was at the BET Awards selling out your Jesus for a paycheck. He sold out your Jesus for a paycheck while America is going to hell in the handbasket, shooting one another up because of what comes out of the BET Awards. Don't you realize that friendship with the world, the Bible says, is hatred towards God? Kirk Franklin is a friend of the world, therefore he is an enemy of God. And the Bible says that when you participate with Kirk Franklin, you are a participator with him in his evil deeds. It's just like you signed his paycheck, and now God's going to hold you directly responsible for your false Christianity too. Oh, go and read your Bibles, guys. I guarantee you right now, you know all of Kirk Franklin's lyrics, but do you even know what James 4.4 4 says about being friendly with the world? Do you even know what the Bible says about playing games with worldliness? Do you even know what the Bible says about being a worldly person? I tell you the truth. These people deny Christ. The Bible says they have a form of godliness, but they deny God's power. You won't see Kirk Franklin telling everybody to repent for their sins in there. He's going to tell you, everybody put your hands up. Whoop, whoop. Do you want a revolution? Whoop, whoop. You don't want a revolution. If you saw a revolution, it would be Jesus burning all of the world because he said, I've come to burn it with fire. The Bible says you're supposed to hate what is evil. That's why Jesus comes back in the book of Revelation to devour the world, not because you got to love it. Here you are lavishing in the love of the world. You're lavishing in your worldliness. You're lavishing in your own ideas of what you think is godly. Oh, you are nothing more than deceived. The Bible says, Jesus said, be careful in Matthew 24. He said, be careful that nobody deceives you. Many people will come saying that I am the Christ. Paul the Apostle wrote this when he wrote the book of Corinthians. He said, these are those that preach another Jesus with another gospel by a different spirit. It's fake. It's phony, ma'am. I wish that you would believe, ma'am. I wish you would believe, ma'am, because Kirk Franklin is sending a lot of people to hell. Kirk Franklin is sending a lot of people to hell. Oh, a lot of people are going straight to hell because Kirk Franklin sold you a lie. If you were to search your Bible, you would see that Kirk Franklin stands directly against Jesus Christ. He puts himself directly against, sir, I don't want your false love. Your false love, you probably love homosexuals too. I don't want your false love, sir. I want your love to be sincere. The Bible says your love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Where are the people that are going to cling to what is good in this last hour before Jesus comes? Where are the people that are going to say no to the church getting infiltrated by the devil? Where are the people that are going to say, my pastor's not preaching the truth, he's preaching for money? Where are those people at? Where are the people that are going to raise up their backbone? Where's the real bride of Christ? Because the Bible says in the last days the bride has made herself ready and Jesus is coming back for a bride that is spotless. Oh, but I tell you, you know what the Bible says? False believers are like spots and blemishes. Guess what Kirk Franklin's doing with false believers? He's rubbing shoulders with them, saying, what's up, how you guys doing? Hey, guys, give me a fat paycheck. I'll show up at the B&T Awards. I won't reprove you for anything that you're doing, any of the dark deeds that you're doing. And this nation is basically going to hell in a handbasket because of what the B&T Awards promotes, all kinds of gun violence. And we're wondering, oh, I wonder, I think it's the government that's doing a bad job. No, it's your artists that are advertising how cool it is to kill people that are causing kids to get guns in the streets. Come on. Come on. Don't you realize you're forking up the money for them to basically kill your kids? It's a big guys. You keep on investing your money in Kanye West, he's going to teach your kids to become killers. You keep investing your money in these rap artists that'll keep smoking drugs and doing all kinds of things to themselves. Guess what your kids are going to do? You'll pay those artists money so that you can go ahead and sign your kid up for drug rehab. We got to stop it at the source. You know what the source is? It's right in your living room. 
You know what the source is? It's right on your CD, CD player. You know what the source is? It's right on your iPod or your iPhone. You keep listening to the world, and when you listen to the world, you do what the world says, and then you wonder why the world is so messed up. The world is messed up because you keep funding the world. The world is messed up because you keep funding people like Kurt Franklin, who rub shoulders with people that are killing your kids in the streets. Don't you realize what we're up against here? The Bible says that the God of this world, Satan, has blinded the eyes of the unbelievers. And you'll just sit there and you'll laugh. You'll say, this guy's too extreme. I'll tell you the truth. I was a pastor for 13 years in a church. And I was telling people, Jesus loves you. God loves you. He wants to give you a future. And then I was pocketing the money. I was pocketing the money. Yeah, it was my fault. That's why Jesus told me in my living room one day, you're going to go to hell for that if you don't stop it. Oh, I did stop it, sir. That's why I came on the streets. Because the Bible says, wisdom cries aloud in the streets and understanding in the open square. I'm here to tell you the truth about Kirk Franklin. He's nothing more than a fake, phony idolater. He's got a lot of idols in his life, and if he loved Jesus, he wouldn't be giving his money to his suits. He'd be giving money to the poor and the widow. The Bible says pure and unadulterated religion is this, giving to the widow and the orphan in their time of need. Oh, look at all these fancy churches with these pastors with the Rolex watches. They want to tell you how God's going to bless you and then if you don't give your seed today, that God's not going to bless you right. You know what they're doing? They're pocketing your hard-earned money. Why don't you give to real Jesus and go and give to the poor? Why don't you give to real Jesus and go and give to the widow and the orphan? Stop giving to your pastor's fat, fat bank, bank account. Why don't you give to something sincere? Why don't you give to somebody who needs the money? Hey, even you need the money. Oh, but you're going to spend it on these guys that are racking up all kinds of riches instead of giving it and dispersing it through the church. Oh, God is against these false prophets. God is against Kirk Franklin taking your money for filthy lucre's sake. He's, he's got a pool of money at his house, and every time you buy a ticket, he gets more happy because he can build another di diving board straight into it. These people are liars. They're lying to you. And you're buying into it because he puts Jesus in his name. Don't you know that people can say the name of Jesus but have their hearts far away from him? The Bible says whoever loves the world is an enemy of God. Here's Kirk Franklin saying the BET Awards. I want to love nobody but you. I want to love nobody but you. Oh, that's a shame. A sham at the very least. A shame. Kirk Franklin wants to love nobody but money. That's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. And he wants to say he knows God. The Bible says whoever says they know God will not be a lover of the world. The Bible says whoever loves the world is an enemy of God. Kirk Franklin did not go to the BET Awards to rebuke them, to tell them the truth about God's word, to tell them that Jesus says that he's going to come and devour them. No, he went to them to show them that he can also do the worldly thing with them. So now all of a sudden you're going to this concert tonight thinking that Kirk Franklin loves Jesus. Oh, anybody can put Jesus in there. Jesus said, many will come saying, I am he. Many can put Jesus in their lyrics. But no, if you, knew the, if you knew God's word and you would actually be reading your Bible, you'd realize this guy's just a phony. This guy's nothing but a fake. This guy's nothing but a charlatan. He's nothing but trying to take your money. He's in the era of Balaam. He's teaching people lies just like Creflo Dollar, trying to get you to put your dollar in his wallet. Why don't you see it? When did Kirk Franklin tell you that you got to be humble? No, he wants to sit there and wave himself around like he's Michael Jackson. You listen, man, if you're going to act like Michael Jackson, then just, just call it. I think Kirk Franklin got wise. He realized that he can't be as good as Michael Jackson. So then he thought, ah, you know what I'm going to do? I'll just do the Christian gig. And then Christians are like me instead. And he became a wolf in sheep's clothing and started telling you all kinds of things about Jesus that weren't even true. These people sing lies to God. These people sing lies to, to the, they, they sing songs to the devil and they dedicate them in Jesus' name. And you sit there singing your Luciferian doctrine songs and you think you're singing to God. And God says in the book of Amos, away with your noisy worship. Away with your hymns and your songs. I'm stopping my ears up when I listen to them. Because you don't actually know my word. You don't know my truth. If you knew my truth, you would turn from your sin. If you knew my truth, you would turn from your dichotomy. If you knew my truth, you wouldn't love to come to the Florida theater, Kurt Franklin. You would love to give to the poor. 
Where are the real people of God? Oh, we got a lot of people who say they're Christians. Like I see a lot of ladies here tonight. You dressed with your short attire. You got your cleavage on. You're making sure you show the world everything you've got tonight. It's the uh, yes, Jesus yelled at people all the time. He said, unless you likewise perish, you will likewise repent. I mean, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Jesus said it very clearly. And he shouted it. Yes, he did. Jesus said, what I tell you in the ear, shout it on the rooftops. That was Jesus' command. So yes, I'm obeying God's command because that's what's in the Bible. But the Bible says, in the last days, people will not endure sound doctrine. I mean, in the last days, people will not read their Bible. Instead, they'll listen to Kirk Franklin songs and learn his lyrics. Instead of listening to God's Word, instead of hearing God's Word and reading God's Word and taking it for what it is, they're just going to listen to their podcasts and their pastors, and they're going to listen to everything that, that seems good to them. Well, I hope you're happy because Kirk Franklin wrote a song in 15 minutes, but God wrote His Word before the foundations of the earth. I hope you're going to stake your soul on a 15-minute song. I wouldn't stake my soul on a 15-minute song. I've written a song in five minutes before. And it was a good one. Doesn't mean that it was going to lead anybody to life. Doesn't mean it was going to lead anybody to truth. The Bible says because they did not love the truth, God will give them over to a powerful delusion. And I think it's evident here because you yourself believe a powerful delusion tonight. You believe that Kirk Franklin actually, for some reason, loves Jesus Christ. Kirk Franklin does, uh, does not love Jesus Christ. I'm going to make sure I'm clear. Going out to the BET Awards and saying, I, I want to love nobody but that. And then sitting there in your nice fancy suit, not telling people that hell is awaiting them. That's called lying. That's called being a charlatan. That's called being a false prophet. That's called going the era of Balaam. That's called doing it for filthy lucre's sake. That's called going ahead and trying to become rich on someone else's dollar. Where are the real Christians at? Where are the people that are going to raise up in this hour with some backbone, deciding that finally it's time to stand up against these people? Because it's you that's putting the money in the people's wallet. You put the money in BET's pocket so that they can kill your kids with their messages and their rap songs. It's your kids that are dying, but you're saying, why are the kids dying? The kids are dying because of what they're listening to. The kids are dying because they're listening to songs saying, I got shot nine times and I still got it. And then your kid gets shot once and dies. Don't you realize what's happening here, people? Don't you realize what's happening? Don't you think, you don't, don't you understand where times are in? Don't you understand the devil's just done it? He doesn't let you see where the source is. He just, you just see the fruit and you say, why is the tree bad? Why is the fruit bad? That's because the root is bad. That's because you keep buying Kanye West albums and Kirk Franklin albums and supporting these terrible people. That's because you keep supporting these false idolatry worshipping artists. Jesus is going to judge Kirk Franklin because he didn't warn you of sin that's going to lead to calamity. Jesus is going to judge Kirk Franklin because Kirk Franklin sell, sang Diddy Bop songs while you guys, while you guys went to hell. Kirk Franklin is going to burn in the flames of fire. The Bible says there are special places in hell for people that do, that, that, that do this for money. There are special places for hell for people that don't do God's will and they do it in Jesus' name and they do it for money. There are special places in hell for that. Oh, God is very angry, very, very angry with people like Kirk Franklin. I came out here not for Kirk Franklin. I Honestly, he can do whatever he wants. I'm here for you. I'm here so that if you would repent tonight, if you could believe the gospel, start reading your Bible again, man, you could have a chance. If you started reading your Bible again and realize what kind of world we were in, realize what the devil has done to this earth, man, what kind of person could you be? What kind of man of God, what kind of woman of God could you be? You could stand for God in this hour while the world is running over with wickedness and, and lust and idolatry and porn watching. Because most of the men that are here tonight are probably bound to lust. And why are they bound to lust? Well, because they keep listening to Diddy Bop songs made by Kirk Franklin and yours truly, Kanye West. And you think that when they're putting these things in their heart, that's what's good is going to come out? Don't you understand, guys? The Bible says, you adulterers and adulteresses, don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Therefore, whoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. If you really love God, you'll obey His commands. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey my commands. Don't you realize that God loves you? 
Don't you realize that God has a plan? The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I have thoughts for you, not to harm you, but to prosper you. The thoughts that I have for you are to prosper you, not to harm you. But what do we do? We put on our own vain imaginations. And the Bible says, because they worship the God of their own vain imagination, I'm against them. That's what God says. Go read Jeremiah 11 and 12. You'll see that the Bible says that God is against a people that worship their own version of Jesus. Because they worshiped a God in their own imagination and didn't search him out. You want, you're not reading your Bible, people. Just call it like it is. You're not reading your Bible. If you read your Bible, you'd be so anxious to come to this Kirk Franklin concert. You'd be like, I don't want to go. This guy's not even a, not even a man of God. Oh, Kirk Franklin, you want to call him a man of God after all he's doing is making records and getting rich up of what you're doing? Never once did he tell you to repent from hell. Never once did he tell you that your sin will lead you to calamity. And you want to call him a man of God because he sings diddy bop songs about Jesus? Where's the backbone in America? Just because you got your Christian Michael Jackson does not mean that you're in the truth. Listen, if you love Jesus, you'll obey his commands. Jesus said, if you love me, You'll obey my commandments. If you love Jesus, you'll obey him. Kirk Franklin does not obey Jesus because the Bible says, have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Kirk Franklin stands in the BET Awards and says, I want to love nobody but you. Instead of telling people that they're going to hell in a handbasket, instead of standing up at the BET Awards and telling them the truth, no, instead he'll feed them a lie. Why? Because a lie is easier to tell. A lie will line his pocket with all kinds of nice little dollars. Put up by yours truly, of course, because if it wasn't for all the tickets getting sold for the BET Awards, the BET Awards would go out of money. You, you think about it like this. Who do you really think is supporting all the people shooting people up in all the cities? It's you. It's you who keeps paying for your kids to get the new Kanye album. It's you who keeps paying for the bad Christian lyrics. It's you who keeps paying for these artists that are saying that they got shot nine times and I bet you can't do the same and then next thing you know they go get shot nine times or they go do their own thing or they go and, 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 and involve themselves in gang violence. That's all you hear the rap artists say, nah man, that's just art. Don't you realize that every reformation that ever was started with art? Don't you realize every single time the devil wanted to pollute people he just started with art? So well, here you got Kirk Franklin, an artist, and all he's doing is painting you a nice little painting. Go pay money for your fake painting. Doesn't look anything like the Bible. Why don't you be honest? Why don't you go read the Bible where the Bible says, hate what is evil and cling to what is good? Why don't you read the Bible when it says, whoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God? Why don't you read the Bible where it says, you're a play adultery with God when you're friendly with the world? Why don't you read the Bible where it says, does Belial and, and, and Jesus have anything in common? Does the devil and God have anything in common? Then why was someone representing God at the BET Awards with all the devil worshippers over there? Why, why, why is the question? Oh, I tell you the truth, it's because Kirk Franklin's living a lie. And when he sings, I want to love nobody but you tonight, you just picture the devil. You just picture him singing that straight to Satan. I want to love nobody but you, Satan, because he is a Satan worshiper, because he is a Satan worshiper. You see, the Bible says whoever sins is of the devil. And you'll say, man, you're going really extreme. Yeah, the Bible says whoever's a friend of this world is a hater of God. The devil hates God, and when you're living in a lie, you're living in with your father, the father of lies. And the Bible says whoever sins is of the devil. Guys, I'm here to warn you. I'm here to wake you up. If anybody would wake up tonight and just realize that Kirk Franklin's a false, idolatry-worshipping charlatan, then that would be enough. If there's just one person who goes back to the Bible and reads it tonight and sees what I'm saying is true in James 4.4, 4, that if you're a friend of the world, you're a hater of God, then my job is done here. Because I tell you the truth, God is not going to be mocked on the Day of Judgment. You can stand there all day long and say I'm wrong, but God is not going to be mocked. He said heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will remain. Jesus said heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will remain. So when the Bible says 
you adulterers and adulteresses, don't you know that friendship with the BET Awards or with the world is hatred towards God? I believe it. Oh, Kirk Franklin's leading people to hell in a handbasket. People are even on walkers today to get to him. It's very sad what this world has now dished out. A bunch of fake Christians, a bunch of false dichotomistic Christians who don't read a Bible a day in their life. I love Jesus too because my mama loved Jesus. I love Jesus because my daddy loved Jesus. Guess what? God does not have grandkids. God does not have grandkids. He only has kids. There's no such thing as a grandchild of God. You're either a son of God or you're not. There's no such thing as a grandkid of God. Just because your mom and dad used to believe the Bible, now you don't have to read the Bible a day in your life. All you have to do is listen to Creflo Dollar. All you have to do is listen to your preacher online. Oh, your preachers online are causing you to go offline. Oh, your preachers on your podcast are causing you to, to, get, to get in a pothole. Don't you realize? Don't you realize? you got to know the truth. The Bible says keep the law of God as the apple of your eye. Oh, this world is not even reading their Bible. These people call themselves Christians. They want to come to these concerts, but they don't even read the Bible. And if they do, it's for 15 minutes a day, and they read all the nice scriptures. Why don't you study to show yourself approved, a workman that needs not be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth? If you're a real disciple of Jesus, you'll follow Jesus. You'll read God's word. It'll be a life to your body. It'll be life to your soul. It'll be life to your spirit. If you really love Jesus, you'll wait on him all day. If you really love Jesus, you'll do his will every day. Jesus said, who is my mother, my brother, my sister? It said, he that does the will of my father. Oh, why aren't you doing God's will tonight? Don't you know Kirk Franklin's a false prophet, a false, I wouldn't even call him a prophet. He doesn't even prophesy. All he does is he's a false ditty bop singing pop artist that tells you he loves Jesus. That's all he does is sing ditty bob songs that make you go whoop whoop. Do you want a revolution? Apparently not. You don't want a revolution. You know why? Because if you wanted a revolution, you'd read your Bible. If you wanted a revolution, you would get on your knees before God and you'd start crying out for a revival. Amen. Why are we not doing that? We want to come to a concert. We want to keep feeding the machine. I tell you the truth. This nation is full of adulterers. This nation is full of adulteresses. This nation is full of people that play hooky on God every single day. This nation is full of people that are denying Jesus Christ with their actions. The Bible says, these people honor me with their lips on Sunday, but their hearts are far from me. And if you love Jesus, you'll obey his commands. If you love Jesus, you will go where he tells you to go. You will do what he tells you to do. You will say what he tells you to say. And you know what? When I prayed about this, when I saw Kirk Franklin on the BET Awards, I felt the righteous indignation of God come up against me. Kirk Franklin, your time is up. Your time is up. Jesus Christ has numbered your days. Your days have been numbered, Kirk. Your days have been numbered. I'm speaking straight to you. Your days have been numbered. Your days of not even reading your Bible, going and getting up for filthy lucre's sake. All you do is cash a paycheck at the BET Awards. How dare you go and be friendly with the world? Don't you read your Bible? James 4.4, 4, you adulterers and adulteresses, don't you realize that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Who, th therefore, whoever is a, a, a lover of the world is a hater of God. You sat there rubbing shoulders straight. You rub shoulders straight with the world. And you didn't stand up at the BET Awards and say, hey guys, Jesus is coming back soon and the Bible says in the book of Revelation that the blood will be up to the horse's bridle. Because the blood of the sinners and no one's warning people. The Bible says your prophets were false because they did not warn you of the sin that leads you to calamity. Now you didn't believe that I said Jesus was Lord at the BT Awards? That's not enough, sir. The Bible says if you, if I say to the wicked, you shall surely die and you don't warn them, their blood is on your hands. And you got a lot of people at the BT Awards that have, you got a lot of blood on your hands, sir. You got a lot of blood on your hands. That's what I'm here to tell you. And how do you, you got a lot of blood on your hands. People? Like now, do you think that this is the right way to share with me? That I'm not doing what you believe is Jesus. You, you, you're not listening in the churches. 
The Bible says wisdom cries aloud in the open streets. How do you know I'm not listening to ch preachers? Or how do you know that Your I'm not Your preachers are drunk with wine of Babylon. Haven't you read the book of Revelation? They're so, drunk with the wine. So you're saying that every preacher I talk to is drunk with wine? Well, if they, if you, if the preachers that you talk to were not drunk with wine, you know what they would tell you? What would they tell you? When you go to the BET Awards, rebuke, rebuke, reprove, and correct. All scripture is useful. And I'm supposed to do that at an award show. Oh, yes. The Bible in, says if you don't warn minutes. them, their blood is on your hand. And, and in so three saying, minutes. If, you, three minutes if I had three minutes in front of the world, I would tell them that wrath is coming. They better repent. That's what I would tell them. Okay, so because what you did is just say to them, keep on singing the lullaby, everybody. See you later. Go to hell. That's what it was. Maybe That's you what didn't it was. watch the same show. Maybe you didn't watch no, the same no, show. No, I watched it. You, I want to love nobody but you with your nice little Michael Jackson moves. Sir, sir, you need to repent. Those moves will send people to hell, sir. My sir, dance moves will send people to hell. Not your dance moves. But because you're not doing the right thing with your lips. You honor God with your lips, but your heart is far from him, sir. If you love Jesus, you would hate what is evil. The Bible says, love must be sincere, hating what is evil and clinging to what is good. Well, I tell you what. You know how many kids are getting shot up in the streets because of what's at the BET Awards and what's being promoted there? They're being shot because of the BET Awards? No, because of the people that are being promoted at the BET people Awards. People are being shot in the streets because yeah, of the Yeah, you see BET these Awards. people talking about, I took nine bullets and I did this and look at how cool I am. I got all the honeys and why, I got all the... That's this? what's creating all the greed in the why streets. Why don't you and I do this? Why don't you and I do this? When the concert is over, why don't you and I sit down and open up the Word of God and break bread? Sure. I can't. I, I won't break bread until, until no, no. you repent, sir. Well, no, no. I'm saying this. But I, but I can talk to you. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, let's open up the Word of God together, and let's break the Word like the Word says, "Iron sharpens iron." And let's okay. open up the text. Okay. Fair. Well, I can. I can agree with that. But yeah. I. But I'm not going to shake your hand, sir. Second John, know your Bible. Second John, people. The Bible says, "Whoever doesn't preach the same gospel, do not even wish them Godspeed." Otherwise, I'm a partaker in your evil deeds, sir. What you did at the BET Awards was nothing but a sham before God. Now, I'll, talk, I'll sit down and talk with you, but I can't agree with you, sir. Because when I agree with you, I'm saying you are in Christ, and I don't believe shaking that's my the hand truth. Is agreeing, shaking my hand. Yeah, the Bible says don't even it's wish them sin. God's speed. Okay. I'm just obeying okay. scripture, sir. I'm not well, trying to be what? disrespectful. No, 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 no. no. You well, understand? Well, coming to the concert yelling that I'm going to hell. Well, I, guess what? You wouldn't, somebody... you wouldn't let me come up into the concert and say, hey, Kirk, how you doing? I want to talk to you about something, man, you know. If I'm, what, no, what, what, what am no, I doing right that, now? Trust me, man. I've, I've been to many right places now. with many many high ups. They don't, they don't come out. Have you ever met me? Have you ever met me? I met you now. Okay. And I'm telling so you the, what the Bible bread. says. So after the concert, okay. let's sit down. Let's open I'm up fine. the word of God. I'm fine. Okay. We'll do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Still got to repent. The Bible says that friendship with the world is hatred towards God. we got to be the kind of people that are ready to speak up against evil. Here we are speaking about homosexuality, that it's a good thing. The Bible says, woe unto you who call evil good and good evil. But now the wool has been pulled over our eyes in this hour. The wool has been pulled over our eyes in this hour. And what do we keep doing? We keep on saying what we keep on saying. We keep on saying the same thing. We keep on doing the same thing, expecting a different result. No, if you had a truth in your heart, if you had God's truth in your heart, you would bear much fruit for God and you would hate the fruitless deeds of darkness. You would hate the fruitless deeds of darkness. Oh, I tell you the truth. It's time. It's time for this generation to start seeking the Lord. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. The Bible says there comes a day where there won't be a drought in water and there won't be a famine of food. Yea, I tell you, there will be a lack and there will be a scarcity of the word of God. People will go to and fro all over the earth looking for the word of God, but they will not be able to find it. But now we live in a day where there's a Bible in every hotel room, there's a Bible in every motel room, there's a Bible everywhere. There's a Bible for a dollar at the dollar store. But guess what? Nobody's reading it. Nobody's reading it. You know why? Because the devil, the Bible says, the God of this world is blind to the eyes of the unbeliever. Blind to the eyes of the unbeliever. Blind to the eyes of the unbeliever. You want to mic yourself up? Yeah, maybe we should. Oh, I hope you don't believe that, ma'am. Those who obey Jesus' commands are those who make it. Yes. Yep. Hallelujah. Yeah, turn that up for a sec. Thank you, bro. Oh, you want to go again? Yeah. Try to keep them on. 
one side. Where's the clip? Yeah, right here. Alright, I need to get down the other side. Where's the pack? Huh? Where's the pack? Right here. Yeah, that needs to come the other way around. know that Jesus is Lord, there can be no other Lord of your life. There can be no other master of your life. There can be no one else who you share your heart with but the Lord your God. That's why the Bible says that God is jealous, jealous for us. Twice jealous. Because God is a jealous God that wants our entire heart. Not when we pour away half of our hearts towards the world, towards the pleasure of the world, towards money, towards filthy lucre, towards fame, towards pleasure, towards idolatry. Oh, this generation has treated music like idolatry rather than using music for the purpose of praising the name of the Almighty God in a heart of sincerity. The Bible says that love must be sincere, hating what is evil and loving what is good, that our love must be without hypocrisy. And what is going on inside of here? Oh, Kirk, you are loving with a hypocritical heart. Now that the real love of Jesus, and the Bible says open rebuke is better than secret love, the real love of Jesus, the boy the Bible says, the faith are the wounds of a friend. See, the real love of Jesus is what calls out. It's what testifies the truth. It's what testifies about the deeds of wickedness. And that is what the purpose of the light of Christ is for. People get stuck. They just stay on John chapter 3, 16, but they do not continue and read the whole context of the word of God. They do not understand that just a two verses later in John chapter 3, verse 18, the Bible says that he who does not believe stands condemned already. Why? Because later on in verse 31 in John chapter 3, it's because they hated the light. Because the light exposes their wicked deeds. They feared the light. They feared that their sins would be exposed. That's what the light of Christ does. The light of Christ exposes sin. The light of Christ tells you, hey, you're in masturbation and pornography. You're still in masturbation of sexual immorality. You cannot inherit the kingdom of God according to the word of God. The Bible says the sword of the spirit, the word of God, is sharper than any two-edged sword. Any two-edged sword. Sharp enough to separate marrow from joint. So that is what the Word of God does. The Word of God is supposed to challenge your understanding. So that when you look at the Word of God, you have to believe it for what it exactly says. When the Word of God says that you cannot be a friend of the world, then you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. And then talk about the rebuke says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, do ye not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? When you play friends with the world, when you play friends with the BET Awards, when you play friends with music, they even profess to be a fake Jesus or a different Jesus. It is not the ways of God. You fellowship in these things, you fellowship with their sins. When the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, that what does light have in common with darkness? What does Christ have in common with Belial? It says, come out and be ye separate. That is what the scripture says. You're supposed to separate yourself from the unfruitful works of darkness. Separating yourselves from the ways of sin. Because the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life. When you, you can only understand, comprehend the loving kindness of God when you recognize the depravity in which you're in, that you've been saved. You, if you have no concept of sin, if you have no concept of what you need saving from, then what benefit is Jesus to you? If you were saved already in Jesus' blood, that you already are saved, because Jesus already died for your sins 2,000 years ago, that you were just automatically saved because of that? If you were just automatically saved, then what, then what benefit is to you to actually be a Christian and do what Jesus says? No. When you read the scriptures, the Bible says in Luke chapter 13, when Jesus preached himself out aloud, open to the crowds, he said, unless if you repent, unless if you all repent, 
you, they all likewise perish. The standard of the gospel of Jesus Christ is risen up in this day. Oh, the spirit of Elijah is in the earth today to restore, to restore the church, to restore and raise the banner of spirit and truth, to remind you America, to remind you Jacksonville, that the God of the Bible, that oh, Israel, the king, the king, the Lord of lords, the God of Israel, is the one and only true God. Every other God will burn in the fire. Every other figment of your imagination, your American Jesus, your fake Jesus, your Jesus you can pride around the stage, on the BET awards, will burn in the fire. All the other gods will be destroyed. Because there is no other God but the God of Israel. The Bible says God shall not be mocked, and therefore no one can defame the word of God and say that the word of God is anything else but what it says. God's judgment will come. God's judgment will come soon. This is why God has sent messengers to you. This is why God made sure that the gospel of Jesus Christ is preached in the street corners because the wrath of God is going to be visiting the sons of disobedience, the scripture says. Are you going to choose to be obedient to God? Are you going to choose to believe what the Bible says, what the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 4, which says to let God be true and yet every man be a liar? Are you willing to raise up the standard and truly believe that God is who he says he is, regardless of what any man says, regardless if there's a man whose net worth is 8.5 million, singing around the BET Awards, leading you astray, preaching to you a different Jesus, doesn't matter what he says, what matters is what God says about himself, because he is the I am, the existing one, Jehovah. He testifies of himself. Jesus spoke very clearly that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and that no man comes to the Father except through me. But a lot of people get confused about who Jesus is. A lot of people get confused about who Jesus is. They use the gospel of Jesus Christ and they peddle it, for profit, the scripture says. They peddle around the gospel of Jesus Christ for a sham, for a show, to lead people astray onto the pits of hell and they benefit thereof. And then they sit justified. Oh, the Bible says, oh, the, the harlot, oh, the harlot wipes his mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. That is what you're playing with, Jacksonville. America, that's what you're playing with. Entertainment is called entertainment for a reason. It's something that you allow inside of yourself. When you are entertaining yourself with the ways of the world, you're allowing worldliness to defile the temple of the Holy Spirit. You're allowing worldliness to defile the temple of the Holy Spirit that should be holy before God. You defile yourself with the ways of the world, and therefore the wrath of God will come and visit you along with it. I don't desire that for you, and God doesn't even desire that for you. God takes no pleasure in the wicked perishing. God doesn't take pleasure in that. But God is a just and righteous judge. It's up to you to choose to repent. God has set the decision before you. The path of life and the path of death, the path of a blessing and the path of a curse. Guess what? There's no in-between. There's no you pleasing yourself and pleasing God. When you, see, the Bible says, let us seek how we may please the Lord. If you're not considering that in everything way that you do, when you go ahead and you take away a work night week, you rush off your way from work to come here, to spend away your money, to listen to some guy stand on stage and prophesy to you about a fake Jesus, oh, what a fake testimony that is. You allow yourself to be wooed away by the loving the world. Wake up, America. Wake up, America. Because Jesus is coming back. Jesus is alive on the right-hand throne of God, and he is coming back to judge this land. Oh, the Bible says when Jesus comes back, he is coming back with a sword in his mouth to devour his foes. That is not a pretty sight, the second coming of Jesus. It's the most terrifying day. Oh, the remnant of the God of Israel, the remnant of Israel, excuse me, will be hidden on that day. To be hidden from the wrath of God. Why would you need to be hidden from something beautiful? It's a terrifying day when 
God's judgment is poured out in this land. Stop throwing away your money, putting yourself, subjecting yourself to slavery and bondage to the ways of the world. You've subjected yourself to an environment that is leading you straight to hell. You're subjecting yourself to an environment in a way that is worldly. And the Bible says, love not the world or the things of the world, because the things of the world are not of the Father. The Bible says, no flesh can glory in the presence of God. So when you're seeing things of the world, things that are fleshly, that cannot praise God. Michael Jackson moves don't praise God. What praises God was when you walk humbly with a contrite heart and obedience and serve Him. When you seek how you please God. When you humble yourself before Him. When you lift up His name. When you speak the oracles of God. The Bible says God loves judgment. He loves judgment. He loves righteous judgment. Why aren't God's saints? Why aren't the church judging anymore? They've lost their spine. And they become cowards. And the Bible says in the book of Revelation that the cowardly will not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, the world and the devil has so successfully performed surgery on the church to pull away the spine. But you know what hasn't been pulled away? The head. The head, which is Christ. And the body of Christ will be rising. The army of God will be rising. And the wrath of God will visit this land. Do not be on the other side of that, but stand up for righteousness today. Do not put yourself in the counsel of evildoers. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 1, that blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. I'm here to tell you, the most ungodly thing is when you profane the word of God. It's worse off. The judgment's worse off. There's more judgment for Kirk than there is for Kanye West. There's a worse judgment for Kirk than there is Kanye. Why is that? Because he twisted the word of God and used it as a license to sin, to profane the grace of God, which the Bible tells us in Titus chapter 2, 2 verse 11, that the grace of God has appeared unto us, teaching us to deny ungodliness. That is what the blood of Jesus is for, for you to come out of sin. The blood of Jesus is not for you to be singing around playing songs with the world, to rise up and play. No, we're supposed to be singing holy songs. What about the admonishing psalms that we're supposed to be singing to one another that the scripture says? Why isn't the church doing that? Who's singing a song of admonishment? Who's singing the songs? They're telling each other of their sins. They're telling each other and judging one another where the Bible says judgment starts in the house of God. Where are the things that the Bible says that God has delighted he takes delight in judgment. Why do we not allow this? Why do we not seek how we may please God? Because we're too busy pleasing ourselves. And the Bible says, in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure. They'll be, a, they'll be wasting away the precious things of God. They will not be lovers of God. They will not be lovers of God. They have chosen to honor God with their lips, but their hearts could have been ever so far from him because they believed that they could peddle the gospel for profit. And by that, the wrath of God is coming upon this land. The wrath of God is coming upon the children of disobedience. Wake up, America. Wake up, America. Jesus is coming back. And you have a choice whether or not you're going to serve him, whether or not you're going to keep the commandments of God, whether or not you're going to stand for him in spirit and in truth. That's what true worship is. It's walking in spirit and in truth. True worship is not in stage of the BET Awards, trying to get the worldly to rejoice before God. That is not worship. Worshiping in spirit and truth is keeping the commandments of God, rejoicing in the truth of the word of God, and keeping his word, his law, as the apple of your eye. Oh, this lawless generation does not know the law of the Lord anymore. This lawless generation has forgotten God's law, has forgotten the law of the Holy Spirit, has forgotten the way of Jesus. And they have gone aside for their own way. 
Repent to Jacksonville, for your God is coming. You guys want to cut the stream and just hold it, come back for a part two? Yeah. Let's do that. All right, love you guys so much. Be praying. Be praying for God's will to be done here tonight and that his name be glorified. Let's do it. All right, let me say finish.